What is going on guys, it is JW Gaming here and today I am bringing you another how to unlock and review of one of the weapons that you have to unlock by assignment. Today it is the L85A2 or if you know it in real life it is the SA80 which is the weapon used by the British military if you like that kind of thing. Uh, now this weapon is, I would say, it's kind of easy to unlock, it's not too bad. What you have to do is you have to get three assault ribbons, which is very, very easy to do. Uh, it's just assault class, just I went into domination and uh, went in and did that very easily. Now the third, well the second thing, is three things that you have to do in a round. So you have to get a kill with a pistol in a round, fair enough, that's fairly easy. Kill with a 40mm grenade launcher, or grenade, uh, that is easy. Um, but also you have to get a kill with a defibrillator in the same round as the other two. Now that one was something I struggled with. If you have watched one of my previous videos, um, it was Domination on Rogue Transmission. I'll put a link to that in the description. But that was, uh, that was when I went for that and I actually succeeded. The guy I uh, defibrillated was being a little bit stupid. And uh, yeah, it was great fun. So it's not too bad to get. It's uh, the assignment that you have to get is called open fire. So have a look for that if you want to have a look at that on battle log. But anyway, down to the review of the uh, L86, L85 A2. Excuse me. Um, it fires at 800 RPM, which is about average for an assault rifle. It's not too good, uh, not too high, not too low. So then you can get decent, accurate shots. Magazine size of 31. Uh, well, 30 in the mag, 1 in the chamber, as usual with uh, an assault rifle. It has a reload of 2.75 seconds um, uh, without a bullet, no, with a bullet in the mag uh, chamber already, or 3.75 seconds if you've got to do it all. Now, that's about, I would say, about average for assault rifles. Um, now, damage wise, you get 25 damage. Uh, up to about 20 meters and then moves down to 18 so it is quite a high damaging weapon it's about average again for the rate of fire that it is um, so you're gonna want to this is kind of fairly close to medium range combat you're not going to be wanting to reach out far like you would with a DMR or something like a SAR 21 uh, because it just doesn't have uh, it drops off a bit the damage so you're gonna have to put about seven shots um, six or seven shots into people which isn't going to be too bad, it's not brilliant, it's not too bad. Bullet velocity is 640 meters per second, which is alright, it's uh, again about average, um, but again it's medium range, so you're not going to really be wanting to reach out that far. Recoil wise, you've got um, you've got a 0.25 right recoil and a 0.25 left recoil, which makes it a little bit unstable, the weapon. So it's just a, it's a bit of a lottery sometimes, but overall, if you're using it close to medium range and you're not pushing out to the longer ranges, you should be fine. It's got a vertical recoil, 0.43. Which is alright for an assault rifle, again it's just uh, using uh, using your own skill to control the weapon or putting a grip or something like that on there, which helps it. Um, attachments wise, I would put um, anything up to an ACOG scope on it, uh, personally maybe a muzzle brake or a heavy barrel maybe um, on this weapon and I would also put something like the angle grip or the stubby grip just to pull a little bit down on the recoil. Um, which would really help. In terms of like laser sight, um, suppress, uh, laser sight or um, laser sight or tack light or anything like that is basically down to your play style. Laser sight if you want to go running and gunning, or flashlight if you just want to fairly close quarters blinding your enemies. But um, it is overall. I've had uh, a bit of gameplay um, or game time playing this weapon. I believe I'll put some gameplay of this weapon in the background. It is a pretty decent weapon. You can, uh, as long as you can control the recoil, it's very, very good at close to medium range. Um, I personally like the uh, the iron sights on it, um, but I have swapped it out for a red dot sight I'm using at the moment. And uh, for close to medium range, you're very, very good. You're very accurate, is what I find, and I think it's a really, really easy weapon to use, as opposed to some of the other weapons where you get a very big uh, first shot recoil. And also, speaking of first shot and everything, it uh, is a three fire mode. I personally don't go out of fully automatic because I can um, tap fire and uh, three round burst um, using just my trigger finger, but you can 
uh, put it into three round burst or single shot anyway. Now guys, this is coming up to the end of the review. If you have liked uh, the video, please like, comment and subscribe. I am on Google+, Twitter and Facebook if you want to find those links down in the description. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And uh, also, I, can, um, I will link the previous video uh, up somewhere on the top uh, of the video. And uh, again, I'll see you later. Bye.